In this episode, hacks for rainy days. This one's a really nifty one, okay guys? So if you don't have a dryer at home and you have some wet clothes that you want dry almost immediately, a great hack is to just use a towel and an iron. Just put it over your garment and then just iron over the towel. The towel absorbs that moisture, therefore it makes your garment dry. Can you see the difference? So this side is completely dry and this side is still soaking wet. And that only took like a couple minutes, which is a great fast way of drying your clothes. If you're going out camping and you're afraid that everything is gonna get wet, especially your flamage, don't worry because I'm gonna teach you how to waterproof your matchsticks. When a matchstick gets wet, this doesn't light. So now I'm gonna teach you how to waterproof it. Grab your matches and dip it in the wax. So what that is is doing it's obviously just coating the candle with the wax the matchstick <laughs> now that I've waterproofed my matchstick I'm just gonna dip it in the water voila there you go happy birthday to whoever's birthday it is out there today this one is a really great hack if you're scared your feet might get wet. All you need is some socks and some plastic bags. First thing you wanna do is you wanna already wear a pair of socks, which I have right here. So then you wanna put your foot in the plastic bag, put the other sock over the plastic bag. So the reason why you've got another sock over the others is because it keeps it from slipping and sliding inside. Cut away the excess bag. My foot looks so fat now. <laughs> They're already fat and now they look even fatter. Oh, yeah. I've got the biggest cankles, guys. The biggest. It's ridiculous. Okay, so once you've done that, put your shoes on. And now you've got a nice dry foot, provided you don't sweat. If you've got a broken umbrella, don't throw it away because I'm going to teach you two ways to fix it. First way is using a paper clip. You just want to unravel the paper clip and make it straight just like that. You want to align these two holes here. This is where my auntie will come out because I cannot see the bloody hole. <laughs> I cannot see! <laughs> And then once you've lined that up, you can then thread the paper clip through the holes. <sighs> and done. Make it nice and tight, twist it around. You're going to find that you've got some excess paper clip, but don't worry, you can cut that off with pliers. And that's all there is to it. Now, if you don't have a paper clip, you can always use dental floss. So with the dental floss, it's the same thing. Line the holes up, thread the dental floss through the holes, tie it. As you can see, I fixed it here with the paper clip and here with the dental floss. There you go, a brand new umbrella. Now, if you're facing a lot of rainy days and you don't want all your things to get wet, for example, your shoes or your material bags, a great way to protect that is to just use a waterproof spray. So I'm gonna spray one side of the bag just to show you how well this works. Same thing again, I'm gonna spray my shoe. Now that it's dry, when I touch it, there's no residue left, so it feels completely normal. I'm gonna put some water over the waterproof part, and then also here, push it in. It is not going in at all. This is the place that I have not waterproof. It is not doing the same thing as the other side. It is just absorbing. So now we've got to put the shoes to the test. So this is the one that I sprayed. Look at that, just rolls off. How cool does that look though? And now I'll do the one without the spray. You can see in this area, it's just absorbing. So the waterproof spray works 100%. It is really great for rainy days, trust me. So if you don't have any waterproof spray, another way to protect all your items inside your bag is to actually just use a garbage bag. So all the army boys do this when they're out in the jungle and they've got all their belongings in their bag that they don't wanna get wet. They put all their belongings inside the plastic bag and then they put the plastic bag inside the backpack. 
So if it rains and the water gets into your backpack, at least this way, all your belongings will be nice and dry inside the plastic bag. This one is for all of you people that love photography and are afraid to get their cameras wet. All you need is some tape, a rubber bands, and a plastic bag. So first thing you wanna do is put your camera inside the bag. Now you want to cut a hole just for the lens area. Tie some rubber bands around the lens. Grab your duct tape and just place it over the top like that. So all you need to do is get underneath the plastic bag, put the plastic bag over your head and you can just shoot away with no problems without getting wet. We've come to the end of yet another episode. Now, if you didn't already know, I've started designing our own merchandise and we've actually put some stuff up on sale. So go check it out at tandemmerch.com. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at rjt99. And if you like this video, subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell so that you can get notified every time a video comes out. Or you can download the free Click Network app to watch most of our videos before they hit YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. Mwah! Bing!